While a lot of you are going to be home away from the frigid conditions, others are preparing to work. And some of those are with the Mobile Area Water and Sewer System. Fox 10 News reporter Chastity Bird shows you how it's getting ready. I can remember the worst uh, scenario that we had uh, during my career was uh, around Christmas time, 88, 89, uh, Christmas of 88. Uh, we had you know, several days consecutive of uh, freezing temperatures, and that's always the worst case. That's Les Brown, case. assistant director of Mobile Area Water and Sewer, says that's exactly what we're going to see over these next couple of days. You don't get the warming. The ground loses temperature, doesn't get a chance to warm back up, so the heat that you're getting from the ground can, uh, that uh, you no longer have that as it dissipates over time, so you can get more freeze damage on the second night of a, of a freeze than you can on the first night. Along with your pipes, Brown says a big concern is the strain that might be put on the system. We have people that run the water in their house because they don't have insulation, so that's a lot of people running water that creates a demand, and then the ones that don't do that and their pipes freeze, they break and they start leaking. So here's some tips for your pipes straight from the source. Recognize that uh, that uh, small lines will freeze, disconnect hoses, uh, drain your hoses. Uh, if you have water lines that aren't insulated, insulate them. Houses that are built on piers with exposed pipes under the under the house but not insulated are very vulnerable. Uh, pipes in walls that aren't insulated are vulnerable. And remember, if something does happen, call Moss and have a licensed plumber in mind. Reporting from Mobile, Chastity Bird, Fox 10 News. Local homeless shelters are busy preparing for tonight's cold weather. Folks at the Salvation Army say they expect more than double the usual number of people who need a warm meal and a warm place to sleep. If you or someone you know needs a place to get out of the cold, the Salvation Army has opened its doors as a 24-hour emergency shelter through Wednesday morning. That shelter is located in Mobile at Dolphin Street, just west of Broad. Donations continue to pour in at a local rehabilitation center damaged by fire on New Year's Day. 